my head going on about how short sales don't work, so I probably won't. We're going into this fully expecting to get what we want, and I gotta tell you, every time we do that, we get it. Yeah. We, we uh -huh. absolutely get it. Last deal we did out, uh, that was uh, in St. Augustine, we went into the deal knowing that we were gonna make 50 to 64,000. We made 58,000. Why don't we? Uh, why don't we talk a little bit about the uh, the challenges that we had? Whether we met we met her at uh, Starbucks, and the first thing that came out of her mouth—not the first thing, one of her hot buttons—I always ask the seller, really, what is the thing that you're potentially could be a problem? Deficiency. That was a problem for her. Right. Um, her income is such that uh, what she owes and what she has, she's probably going to be insolvent. Um, it is an investment property. <clears throat> so she could stand to potentially get some type of a, a taxable ramification. Certainly not a deficiency judgment because they're not doing that. Uh, potentially a promissory note. So she can either pay the taxes on the deficiency or she can pay the entire deficiency, which is essentially what happens at a short sale. And, and um, the biggest thing that we told her was disclaimer, disclaimer. We can't guarantee whether this is going to happen, but let us get going. Because nothing's going to happen unless we get moving. I did notice she was pretty easily fixating on different things we were talking about. Like mm -hmm. we would mention one little thing, her mind would kind of like latch onto that. Mm -hmm. She'd right. kind of hold on to that for a minute. And so right. part of this is just letting her let go. And, and uh, we flat out told her, look, there's no way we're going to harm you. Um, there's no way we're going to run off with your overfinanced house. <laughs> and um, what was the other thing we said to her? Something about. Um, Oh, she. It was interesting because now she's a she's a licensed agent, and it just goes to show you how little a lot of these agents don't right. understand these short sales. I was really blown away. Like some of the stuff she said was, "Why do you need my financials? Right. Uh, I don't want to give you my financials." And she didn't put it that way, but that's the way that I kind of came across to me. Right. And actually, you did a really good job of explaining that, Todd, the way you did it. Todd said. Um, he said, first of all, I said, it's a financial transaction. The bank has to make it a financial decision. They have to see your financials. And she goes, well, you know, we've seen other agents in the office that never seen in the financials. So Todd was quick to point out that it's probably right. They didn't see the financials because the person behind the scenes was putting together the short sale package. There's two packages, incidentally. There's a short sale package, and then there is a seller package. So the short sale package is all the financials, everything the bank deems necessary to make the decision on whether they should take the short sale. And then the uh, seller package is everything we have them sign, which is hold harmless disclaimers, uh, uh, disclosures, ton of disclosures, and things that we want her to sign so that we're safe and she's safe and we're fully disclosed about everything that's happening. She certainly knows we're going to buy and resell. Right. She even agreed to allow you, my man, to make a million dollars on her house. <laughs> That's right, she did. Yeah. She agreed to that. She didn't care. <laughs> she also acknowledged something very important. She said, she uh, she goes, well, I'm not I'm not used to uh, getting people to fill out short sale packages. And I'm saying, well, if you were deceased, then you would not have to fill out a short sale package. And I asked her, I said, you're currently not deceased, are you? <laughs> she did say she was not deceased, and she got that one 100% right, so we got to give her kudos on that one. <laughs> But she's a real, she's a real sweetheart. She's a good girl. I'm just poking fun, you know. She was a good, easy going, great person to work with, and um, we left it where she's going to bring us more deals because that's what it's all about. So and she said there's a ton of short sales in, or uh, over leveraged properties in this area, kind of similar to hers. So uh, this could be a great pop, uh, potential for absolutely. You know? So. Uh, so that's not too shabby. You guys are gonna go drop me off at my car. You guys are gonna stay after the stay after today and you know, keep working on some other projects. And not too bad to start out the day with a not a bad day. One deal, yeah. ready to rock and roll. Paperwork's in our hands. Yep. Soon to be signed. Yep. Nice little fifty-four, sixty-four thousand dollar deal, my man. Yeah. That's what it's all about. <laughs> that, that is what it's all about, baby, right there. But I'll tell you what it's really all about. What it's really all about is Mr. Todd in your city. You guys, give it up for Todd in your city. <laughs> Todd, take it home. Go make that money for daddy. Uh, here we go. Todd in your city. I love it. Gotta love it. All right. On the next deal. <laughs>
you got to make some money because you owe me for lunch. Like you got. It. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I owe you a big. It's gonna be a big deal. <laughs> Sweet. All right, sounds good. Yeah. That's awesome. Your first, your first uh, appointment, man. What? Uh, I'm pumped. How do you like it? This is so much fun. I mean, it's unbelievable. I mean, this thing was just kind of folding out for me, and it's uh, there's a ton more out there. I'm so uh, I hadn't had this, this this much excitement in a long time. This is this is awesome. This is great to see how this thing works. And, and you know what? You can tell that she's uh, she's got some relief starting already. She can she can see this thing maybe uh, you know getting off off her shoulders and out of her life and be done with this bad situation. So. We, you know, we're making money and we're helping this uh, nice lady at the same time. So, well, congratulations, man. Oh, man. Yeah, that's it's huge. Great. I'm, ex it's I'm really great. excited for you. Congratulations. Well, yeah, thank you. Good um, stuff. It's been fun, man. Thank you. Can't wait to get the next one. Nothing like helping somebody in foreclosure. Uh -huh. Nothing like setting, uh, putting some motions, the wheels in motion to create a payday. That's right. Because this is just one of many, many that you're going to do. And let's just say you did five of these at, at, at an average of fifty thousand. That's two hundred. That's a quarter of a million dollars. That's not, that's not bad. Bad living for your first year in this that's China. Right. Absolutely. Not bad at all. It's not bad. Future's looking good. That's right. right.